Alright, so they just announced that the iPod Touch uh, has an update, 3.1.1, and that's from 3.0, so let's get into this. And uh, the iPod Touch is getting genius recommendations for applications now, not just music. Um, iTunes 9 support. I don't have iTunes 9 right now, but I'm going to get it afterwards. Um, genius mixes. Organize your apps directly in iTunes, which is what I thought was cool when I saw it on the iPod Touch fans live blog. That was pretty cool. Um, Improved syncing options for music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, and photos. Uh, iTunes U content organization. Redeem iTunes gift cards, codes, and certificates in the App Store. That's pretty cool. Oh, I saw that though before on um, when they released 3.0. I had that option in the App Store for like three, two or three days. I had that option, but then it, for some reason, disappeared, and I thought it was just, I thought I just thought about that and didn't actually see it. That's kind of stupid, but whatever, we'll move on. Um, display available iTunes account credits in the App Store and iTunes Store. Uh, remotely lock iPod Touch with passcode via MobileMe. Warn when visiting fraudulent websites in Safari, anti-phishing. <coughs> Improved exchange calendar, syncing and invitation handling. Fixes fixes an issue that caused some app icons to display incorrectly. That's good because I had that happen with me once with Air Coaster. And I'll put I'll put that picture over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, products compatible with the software update are just iPod touches with this specific update. So now let me copy all this so I can put in the info. Alright, got that copied, so let's move on. Yeah, blah blah blah, license agreement. Alright, I'm going to pause this and I'll resume back to when it's almost done. Or when it's done. Oh guys, and also, the new Nano shoots video now. And it has an FM radio with live pods, just like a DVR. Um, it has up to 15 minutes to do that. Um, the iPod Touch 3G has a built-in mic, but no camera. Uh, I think that's very stupid not to include a camera, but I think it's just so it doesn't compete with the iPhone 3GS, so that way people won't buy an iPod Touch 3G and use like Skype and stuff like that instead of um, using an iPhone. I just, I don't know, I think it's really stupid. They should have included a camera onto the new 3G uh, iPod Touch. That's really, really stupid. Um, I think it has a built-in mic. Unless it just uses that those headphones with the microphone on it again. But they are upgrading the size to 64, 64 gigs. Um, and it's getting the processor bump. That's how they that's how they say. It. Just like the iPhone 3GS. So it'll be faster and has more space. Um if you want, I'll put this website, I'll put the website for all this stuff in the info if it's not already included with the update. Um it can now play HD video. Um they've actually been able to play HD video for a long time. But it just wasn't unlocked until uh, now. So the update, I think it's going to unlock the ability to play HD 1080p video. So that's something to look forward to. Alright. Okay, so this is done.
Alright, so now it's uh, restarting the iPod, so it should be done pretty soon now. I said now twice. But I think that's necessary. Okay, so now it's done. Um, in iTunes 9, you should be able to use this the applications tab to um, reorganize your iPod. And if I can get the iTunes update within with today, within this day today, then um, I'll be able to show you that as well. All right. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, favorite, and if you have any questions that I might be able to answer, that I might know how to answer, leave it in the comment section. If I don't know, then I probably won't reply to you. I'll just say, I don't know, or I won't reply. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.